Good afternoon and welcome to the Institute of Global Professionals IGP Bangladesh. Greetings from the Institute of Global Professionals IGP Bangladesh. Thank you for thank you all for joining us and stay in on our long secrets to the IML post for the afternoon. My name is Aritra Vashak and I am from Bangladesh. IGP knowledge seekers. I am proud to be associated with IGP as a global member. IGP is a social and ISO certified international training institute. In last three years, already in last three years, we already served three million knowledge seekers as countries. IGP is internationally recognized and globally accredited. We are connected to more than 250 plus professionals and 4,500 plus organizations. Institute of Global IGP is the training faculty for skill development, which was founded in 2020 and is generating competent candidates to meet demands in the global level market by providing professional qualifications. The Institute of Global Professionals is an educational institute that service that provides social work globally recognized and reputable. We serve students and community resource providing holistic social work and education. We believe that it's not effective to increase one skill just by acquiring formal education. So we provide effective training and consulting to generate proficient generation all over the world. We distribute our service locally, nationally and internationally to students, job seekers, job holders and also for learners through respective campus location and distance from learning platform. We are an occupational and dependable institution. IGP is one of the most famous institute in overall the world. Our vision is education is not a business product, it's a part of our human rights. Based on our vision, we can we are trying to reach all corners of the world for free webinars, seminars, courses, awards, quiz competition, mentoring and counseling, etc. On the other side, we are also trying to serve more than 100 premium service for like create own portfolio website, resume builder, cover letter, motivation letter, and world knowledge platform for gathering general knowledge which can uplift all the kids, learning games, websites, free courses, convert sites, and many, many more. We help to empower youth to learn to meet their expectations and dreams and become high skilled people. We implement several training programs, webinars, and offline online co courses free for youth general, for youth and learners by professionals, trainers, speakers, and coaches. Our sessions are conducted by globally renowned professionals to develop all kinds of youth and to promote the education of their abilities and personalities. To ensure excellent and in-depth instruction, we arranged with qualified trainers, speakers, and income. 
is not yours. We extended free service to more than 300 knowledge seekers in the last three years. We have affiliations with universities and organizations in 70 different countries. Virtual mouse signing with many colleges and organizations have been accomplished. We are working to create a legendary generation of future scholars and citizens who will be accountable. We are constantly prepared to assist all knowledge seekers with valuable service. Speeding knowledge is crucial for the Institute of Global Professionals. We believe that knowledge is love, light, and vision. We are trying to understand the needs of today's generation and will service them with good research and practice method. We must have a genuine concern for the learners. We represent more diversity, growth, and innovation. I recall to lead a session with personal, with professionalism, passion, and integrity. IGP members are committed to offering effective, based quality service and continual improvement so that individuals who seek information can improve their skills and levels and values. Before we move to the next, let me remind you, don't forget to share, tag, and mention your friend in the comment box. Your support is very valuable to us. Thank you. Before we move to the next, let me remind you, don't forget to share, tag, and men mention your friend in the comment box. Your support is very valuable to us. Thank you. Moving to the next, with our continuous support, we already completed 1,000 to 5 webinars successfully. Wow. Moving to the next, with your continuous support, we already completed 1,285 webinars successfully. Wow. At present, we are going to start our 1,000... <coughs> 1020, 100, 2020, 100, 2086 program name is Basics of Financial Management. And our today's speaker is Sir Dr. Purushottam Aravind Patari. Before I hand over the stage to Sir, I want to share a little bit about our speaker. She, he is an assistant professor. Professor Guruad University, the degree Kolhapur, the degree Kolhapur. An important moment for me to invite our speaker to IGP with this presentation. Now, very important for me. Very important for important moment for me to invite our speaker to ICP with his presentation. Hello, sir. sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. Am I audible? Good evening, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Am I audible? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Hello. Yes, am I audible? On behalf of ITV Knowledge Seekers, wants to share Hello. from you about you, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Good afternoon. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay, so at the outset, uh, I am very much thankful to the Institute of Global Professional Okay, okay. so Sir, now stage is at the outset and start your Okay, okay, fine. So at the outset, I am very much thankful to the Institute of Global Pro That is IGP for organizing my webinar on basics of financial management. I am very much thankful to all. Okay, okay, thank you. So let me go with the PowerPoint presentation. 
so my session consists the terminology for accounting and we'll talk about the finance later on we'll see some aspects of banking and at the end we put other related terms uh, which are very important and necessary for financial management so let's move on the next slide where we are going to start the introductory part of financial accounting so a process to record analyze and summarize and interpret the financial information of the business organization and that particular information is generated from accounting as well as is known as accounting information so this particular information is used to the stakeholders of the company namely the employee the stakeholders the shareholders the creditors the banks and other lenders or it may be the regulatory or it may be the agency or it may be the tax authorities all these are the stakeholders which are using the accounting information so now moving towards the limitation of the accounting information there are mainly two limitations of, of accounting information first limitation is they are totally based on judgment and the interpretation and the second limitation is is based on historical cost and hence it gets the improper value so these are the two main limitations of, of accounting information we have to discuss the accounting information with their principles and assumptions so let's talk about the principle the first principle is going concern here in this particular principle it is assumed that the business activity will continue for feasible future of period the second principle is matching principle it states that the revenue which are related to a specific period should be matched against related expenses for that particular period next the next principle is full disclosure it states that the information provided in the financial reports and the statements should be in complete in a great format the double entry system we all are very much familiar with the double entry three transaction at least two accounts will be posted so let's talk about the assumptions the first very much important assumption that is accrual basis it states that the revenue and expenses should be recorded when it becomes due irrespective of cash received or paid second assumption is assumption of reliability here it states that the accounting information should be reliable and verifiable the next assumption is objectivity principles it specifies that no personal opinion or bias should be influenced that is consistency and comparability it states that the accounting information should be based on some method of accounting so this is the introduction three part of accounting information now let's move toward the next slide which tell us about the 10 very important 
accounting principles or we can say the gap we all are very familiar with the gap gap is nothing but generally acceptable accounting principles wherever you go wherever you stay wherever your business is operate whether it is operate in india whether it is operate in bangladesh where it is operate in malaysia all where the accounting should be similar and should be same for everyone that's why there are few statements we can say or the accounting rules or the principles is been accepted and those principles are refer the gap gap it stand for generally accepted accounting principle so let's see which are those, those principles widely accepted first one is single entry principle this concept states that all the financial statements and records are distinct from its owner and other of the business means here a person or owner entity is different and the organization entity should be treated as a different the second gap is monetary unit principle in this particular aspect all the it would be wrong to record some transactions in one currency and some in other currency it should not be happen like this we have to maintain all the monetary transaction in single currency only the next principle of gap is specific time period all the financial statements have one start date and one end date it should be fixed and it should be common to every organization so financial statements are related to specific period the next principle is recognizing principle company should record the revenue and cost as and when they occur and not when the cash is received or paid the next principle that is going concern principle as we have already seen as per this principle it is assumed that business has no end date it will go on forever and it is eternal it will not exist it will be referred as a going concern next principle is full disclosure principle this will tell us about as per this particular principle it is assumed that the business has no end every company must make full disclosure of its information it should not hide any material of the information that that may affect investors investment decision that's why full disclosure principle has to be there and has to be followed by every organization the next principle is matching principle a company should report all the expenses in a specific period in which it earns the corresponding revenues the next principle is materiality principle as per this principle only material information should be disclosed differentiation is needed between important and not so important issues the next principle is conservative principle as per the conservative principles a business should provide for all the expenses and losses but shall never anticipate any gain or profit so these are the principle and the last principle is the historical cost principle in this particular principle the accounting position should be made at the amount of actual price payment the balance sheet should show the cost without adjustment of market value so, so here 
there is one quiz that uh, we, we will share but before going to this particular quiz let's move further accounting cycle so this is another very important aspect of accounting cycle let's discuss about the meaning and purpose of accounting cycle it is a systematic process of recognizing analyzing and posting various events related to accounting in records of the company the main purpose of accounting cycle is to record all the transactions systematically without missing any entry the mistakes are taken place in accounting cycles are the common mistakes that happen during accounting includes skipping the recording of transaction posting in wrong account posting on wrong side of account posting with wrong amount and posting of transactions multiple times so these are the common mistakes which are take place in accounting cycle now let's move further for the steps involved in accounting cycle so first we have to start with the transactions triggering later on we have to move for journal entries recording after journal entry recording we have to post those into journal ledger after preparing the ledger we have to go for trial balance preparation after trial balance we have to go for worksheets after worksheets we have to passing all those adjustments in entries and next day it is financial statements we have to prepare such as income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement and at the end we have to close all these entire book so these are the steps which are involved in accounting cycle so with this particular advent of new technology lots of new softwares nowadays are available and came for effecting accounting system it has helps in maintaining the accounting records systematically and leading to the reduction in human errors and efforts hope am i audible am i audible to everyone hello okay yes sir you so are audible let's move further the very important aspect in accounting that is double entry system if you are aware about this then and then only you can proceed further with respect to financial accounting so let's see what is the meaning of double entry system it is a method of arranging accounts in a such way that the dual aspect would be expressed by debit amount and an equal of offsetting credit amount it is a system in which you enter both the sides of transactions and every debit there is a credit so for every giver there is a taker let's discuss about the advantages so advantages of double entry system is drawing the trial balance out of the ledger account gets easy it is more accurate and reliable position is provided and the third advantage is facilitates the comparison of the business performance let's discuss the other hand that is the disadvantages of double entry system so the disadvantages of double entry system is the account that is despite wrong picture when the accountant is not well versed in accounting this is the very major disadvantage of double entry system 
and the second disadvantage is it requires the number of books and registers to be maintained so these are the disadvantages and advantages with the meaning of double entry system let's move further what is debit and credit this is another very important i or i would say the crucial aspect of financial accounting so debit and credit are, are the key parts of any accounting entries these are the fundamental effects of each financial transaction for maintaining the correct accounting records so there are three accounts basically first is real account second is personal account and third one is nominal account whereas first real account rule is debit what comes in and credit what goes out real account include all the assets like building land road machinery and plants whereas in personal account debit the receiver credit the giver this is the rule and it consist the account of partners shareholders at the nominal account all the debits are expenses and all the losses and all the income and gain would be the credit so nominal account constitute all the expenses and income in it there are five accounting element which are very necessary when you are learning about the financial management the first thing that is income or revenue this shows the income received by the company by the way of sale by the way of interest and etc the second very important aspects or element is expenses here expenses include all the expenditures in terms of rent cartridge electricity postage travel stationery and bank charges very important aspect that is equity share capital here the capital refers to share liability so liability bonds moving funds financial and financial as account account so i am facing the connectivity hello hello sir your presentation is finished hello sir i am facing the network issue just give i am facing the network issue okay one minute i join okay sir hello sir
clear I think all students some network issue that's why our speaker is not connected. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, just just check it out whether the screen is visible or not. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello. sir. Please present your presentation, then you can start your presentation. Yeah. Sir, everything is okay in your side. Yes, just just checking. Sorry, sir. Who's talking? Yes. Just check whether the slide is visible or not, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There is no presentation. Sir, first of all, you present your presentation. No, sir. No, sir. Here is no presentation. Whether the slide is visible. No, sir. Here is no slide, no presentation.
sir everything is okay in your side Hello, sir. Oh. Sir, is everything is okay in your side? Now the slides are visible. Yes, sir, your slide is visible. Hello. Uh, so uh, let's move further. Yes, sir, you can start your presentation. So we were talking about the financial accounting and management accounting. Both the terms are different, have their own features. So let's move further. Similarly, accounting and financial accounting, both the terminologies are different. Cost accounting helps in determining the production of cost or unit of the cost, whereas the financial accounting helps in determining the company's profitability. We will not go in detail with respect to the cost accounting and financial accounting. Let's move further. There are various branches of accounting. We all are very much familiar with the financial accounting. It is a systematic method of recording transactions. The main purpose of the financial accounting is to prepare profit and loss balance sheet and it is useful for the creditors, banks, financial institutions and it provides the accurate picture of financial position. The second branch of accounting is cost accounting. As we already discussed, it evaluates the cost. It evaluates the calculation of the cost by considering all their factors, starting from manufacturing, administration, dual price fixation, costing control, and pinpoint of wastage and leakage. Management accounting is useful for better administration, effective decision making via management information system, cost volume profit analysis, break even analysis, etc. That definitely helps to profit enhancement, scenery of the record, useful for the creditors and the shareholders. Now very important and interesting branch of accounting that is auditing. Auditor inspects and certifies the account for accuracy as an internal audit by the company of the employee and also for the performance. The tax auditing. Tax auditing is mean for preparation and filling of tax, returns, compliances, laws, tax reports preparation, reduction of taxes and legal way for verification and considering the different aspects of taxes. The fund accounting. The fund accounting itself is keeping a record of funds for NPOs, for separate funds, maintained for separate work for assurance of uses. 
the government accounting it keep the record of central and state government for allocation and utilization of various budgets to to ensure the proper uses then forensic accounting another uh, a very important tool nowadays which helps to calculate the damages or setting the disputes in legal matter investigation for carried out and it is also called as a forensic or legal accounting the next thing that is the uh, fiduciary accounting that this particular accounting evaluate the third party of the business and property maintained under care of another person so these are the different branches of accounting as a business organization we have to see the different sources of finance so based on the basis of time there are three types of sources of finance long term finance medium term finance and short term finance based on the ownership and control there are two types of the source of finance first is owned finance and second is borrowed finance and the third aspect that is basics of source based on the generation which consists two types that is internal and external source of finance let's move further the internal sources of finance are the finance or the sources where retained earning plus sales of asset plus reduction in working capital considered as a internal source of finance whereas when we are talking about the external source of finance these are the external sources of finance equity debentures term loan preferred stock venture capital leasing or higher purchase these are referred as a long term external sources of finance whereas short term sources of finance are bank overdraft trade credit and debt factoring now let's move further for a very interesting thing that is methods of financial statement analysis as a finance manager one should aware about the different methods of financial statement analysis so financial statement analysis refers to studying the financial statements to get meaningful information for the decision making so first thing that is horizontal and vertical analysis in horizontal analysis analysts compare the financial information of one period with previous year in vertical analysis every line item in financial statement is calculated as a proportion of another prominent item in comparative financial statement this particular method is similar to horizontal and vertical analysis financial statements show those the figures of two or more than one year in a single financial statement a very important method that is that helps management to analyze and out the meaningful information in four major categories first is profitability ratio second is liquidity ratio third is leverage ratio and fourth one is activity ratio then trend analysis method this particular method of financial analysis is similar with the horizontal analysis in this particular method we compare and review the financial statements of three or more years where earliest year becomes the best year the next method for financial statement analysis are cash flow statement analysis in this particular method it helps to study 
the inflow and outflow of the cash and bank balance under this particular method we examine the movement of cash rather than changes in working capital statement of working capital changes so this particular method helps to study and raise or drop in working capital working capital is a difference between the current asset and current liability fund flow statement this particular method help us to study the sources and use of funds for given specific period it tells us about the forms for the business is getting the fund and where it is spending them. and the last and very important analysis that is cost profit volume analysis this is the analysis that we segregate the cost into variable and fixed cost and after that this particular method help us to define the relationship between sales and variable cost with the fixed cost so these are the major analytical statements so here we have completed the various financial statement analysis and now we are moving toward some bank or banking related terminology bank statement so with respect to the bank statement it is a summary of all the transactions done by the account holder every time of a period it is a detailed list of all debits and credits with the specific time period so let's discuss about the need for banking statement it provide the detailed summary of various business transactions it take care of financial mismanagement it sure the short way to check the expenses it can be used for planning finance and future save giving as well as the investment it helps in healthy financial management so what exactly mean by the concept of financial statement so the account holder or the company deposits for a specific period of a time list of a different withdrawals different checks deposit during the specific time is to be maintained in bank statement also the different mandatory bank account deductions or the charges also maintained in bank statement so why bank statement is required to identify the different situation where you can need a bank statement applying for a bank or business loan to avoid the state medical aid program to avail the free application for federal student id for opting car loan for creating a monthly or annual budget you basically required bank statement let's discuss about the advantage of bank statements keeping a track record for full year for financial years identifying the frauds identifying the errors and planning the financial goal so this is all about the financial bank statement let's discuss about the very important aspect in again with related to bank terminology and that is bank reconciliation statement this one particular statement is been prepared by most of the organization or the individual to take a follow with the bank reconciliation statement so the bank reconciliation statement is an effective internal control system suitable to reduce misinterpretation or representation or to find out the fraud between 
invoices and actual payment let's discuss about the significance it provide the confirmation to the client as why they did not receive check it helps you to train a fraud or catch on it time it gives an idea of the direction you are heading towards uh, uh, it know you know your pure cash position how much is receivable so it consists a specific process we have to look each transaction being recorded and compare with the credits if amount is not credited then we have to focus on the entry receivables need to be made and at the end we have to unresolve the transactions need to be tracked down and corrected with the explanation for errors now let's move further very important aspect that is risk wherever you go whether your business is small or whether your business is large some kind of a risk is associated every time with your business organization risk is broadly categorized into two major aspect first is business risk and another one is financial risk so let's discuss about the business risk and financial risk with the differentiations so meaning of business risk is inability of a company to generate enough revenue to cover its operating expenses whereas financial risk is inability of company to generate enough cash flow to meet debt commitment so how it can be avoided by by making operations effectively and efficiently keeping the cost low business risk can be maintained on the other hand keeping indebtedness as low as possible or by taking no debts we can maintain the financial risk with respect to the duration business risk as long as the business continue it stay with this and with the financial risk as long as financial risk is been associated so in a business risk role is important for growth of the company whereas the financial risk creates a tax shield so financial risk is also important so market condition changes demand government rules and regulations impact on business risk whereas changes in financial asset currency exchange rate and many more affects on the financial risk with respect to the expenses business risk consists operating expenses such as wages production cost rent and electricity whereas in the financial risk expenses are include loan interest principal payment and many more let's talk about the evaluation through earning before income tax we can add business risk whereas debt to asset ratio debt to equity ratio we can calculate the financial risk operational and pricing decisions are take place in business risk whereas how much debt and equity should be take it is referred as a financial risk let's move further the financial risk financial risk is very much important for every business organization these are the some types of financial risk that is market risk credit risk liquidity risk operational risk legal risk is let's move further now how the financial risk 
and business risk can be analyzed which are the risk analysis method so normally there are two types where risk is been bifurcated first is qualitative risk and second is quantitative risk in qualitative risk vota analysis delphi technique swift technique and fly analysis are useful types or the tools we can say whereas in qualitative risk analysis method monte carlo simulation three point estimation and fema these are the tools is been used for qualitative and quantitative analysis now when we are talking about the different kinds of risk exist in the business organization there is one very common widely accepted and internationally acclaimed system named camel approach is being used by the banks or by the financial institutions so when you are talking about the financial management everyone should aware about this particular approach that is camel approach so let's discuss about the camel approach it is proposed in 1988 by basel committee on banking supervision of bic it is useful to assess the current and future potential risk of the bank may face so camel uh, is abbreviation whereas c stand for capital adequacy a stand for asset equity m stand for management capabilities e stand for earning sufficiency l stand for liquidity position and s stand for sensitivity to market risk so everyone should aware about this particular camel approach let's move ahead i am skipping this particular aspect let's move discuss about the different tools of the financial terminology now we have ended here with the banking terminology first we have started with the financial accounting then we discussed about the banking terminology and now we are talking about the finance and finance related terminology so this is one another important aspect that is cash flow statement cash flow statement is a report that gives the movement of cash during the period under the consideration it gives an idea about the inflow and outflow of cash which is generated from from the three different activities that is operating at activities investing activities and financing activities as far as the operating activities concern it refers to the main activity of the business organization such as purchase or goods or the sales providing the services such as purchasing or selling of goods trading profit and loss expenses differentiation and etc whereas investing activity consists investment means of a business does in either property either in security or in particular asset for example purchase or sales of building purchase of investment etc and the financial activities when a business need a finance it looks for various sources like raising funds through shares through debts etc insurance of equity or preference shares redemption of shares and same with respect to the payment of dividend so this is the cash flow statement which is very important tool similarly there is one another tool named fund flow statement so fund flow statement is a statement that reflects relative position of fund of the company over a two period of horizon and enable the analysis of source and use of the funds 
for a particular period of time when we are talking about the source of fund it consists issue of shares and debentures for cash sale of asset long term loan decrease in working capital funds from operations whereas when we are talk talking about the application of fund redemption of shares and debentures purchase of fixed asset repayment of long term loans increase in working capital and dividend of tax pay let's move further we have already discussed about the fund flow and cash flow and this is the difference between fund flow versus cash flow so cash flow is a statement which shows the cash inflow and outflow during the year whereas the fund flow shows the fund inflow and outflow during the year the purpose of meaning cash flow is to analyze the liquidity of a firm whereas purpose of fund flow is to analyze working capital of a firm then component three component are important in cash flow that is operating financing and investing whereas in fund flow two sections are important application of fund and sources of fund so these are the format here you can able to see it starts with particulars and amounts with respect to the cash flow at the left side you are able to see the cash flow and at the right side you can able to see the fund flow let's move further these are the some advantages and disadvantages of fund flow statements change in financial position of the company reason for change in financial position level of working capital adequacy future business budget projection and company image these are the advantages of fund flow statement whereas the limitation are lack originality based on historical data goes hand in hand with the cash flow statement and cannot be used for stand alone bias and it is a static similarly when we are talking about the cash flow fund flow there is one another aspect that is ratio analysis so this is the another technique of evaluating financial statements to the firm opinion about various aspects of the organization like profitability short term and long term liquidity and efficiency ratio analysis is important for determining the operational efficiency company is profitability forming the opinion and effective decision making whereas it has some kind of limitations such as when two companies are in same industry we cannot compare exactly and it does not consider the effect of inflation these are some ratios of the types profitability ratio efficiency ratio liquidity ratio solvency ratio coverage ratio and valuation ratio these are the different types of ratio similarly we have to see the different capital budgeting so cap capital budgeting is a technique evaluating big investment projects and deciding whether a project should be accepted or not there are techniques which are used in capital budgeting such as discounted cash flow 
technique which consists net present value profitability index and internal rate of return whereas non discounted cash flow techniques consist accounting rate of return and payable period of method it has their own importance advantages and disadvantages let's move further these are the method of capital budgeting npv stand for net present value it is used to determine the present value for all future cash flow which will be generated by the investment irr stand for internal rate of return pbl stand for payback period pi stand for profitability index and arr stand for accounting rate of return which is calculated by dividing the expected income from investment and cost of the investment so these are the various methods or the types of capital budgeting from that npv is the best measure for calculating capital budgeting here you can able to see npv calculate the present value of cash flow based on the opportunity cost of capital and derive the value which will be added to the health of the stakeholder if the project is undertaken let's move further the another aspect that is capital rationing so capital rationing is a technique of selecting the project that maximize the firm's value when the capital infusion is restricted it is a process of of distributing available capital among various investment proposals in such a manner that firms achieve maximum increase in its value there are two different types of rationing hard capital rationing and soft capital rationing whereas it is when the capital infusion is limited by the external sources it is referred as a hard capital rationing whereas soft capital rationing is referred when it is restriction is imposed by the management let's move further types of capital rationing we have already discussed this particular aspect that that is hard capital rationing and soft capital rationing whereas 
hard capital referred as external uh, and soft capital rationing is referred as a internal control let's move further the very important and another financial management tool we can say that is cost volume profit analysis so the cost volume profit analysis is analysis presenting the impact of cost and volume on the profit the manager can find out the level of sale where the company will be no profit no loss situation by funding the by finding the break even point it has some advantages as well as some disadvantages another very important aspect for the students those who wish to make their career in financial management that is time value of money so time value of money is defined as concept which state that purchasing power of money bit of time value money on daily routine life are spending with the same amount of money today we can buy more goods than in what we can in future saving saving money today has value in future in terms of fulfilling our future necessity borrowing to enjoy the benefit of car today you borrow money and repay it slowly in future investing money will result maximizing the value of our surplus money there are some reasons for time value of money uncertain future inflation and attached interest factors because of this the time value of a money play a very vital role in every business organization as per as the financial management is concerned let's move further the time value of money is one of the core topic in finance but one should be aware about what determine the time value of money so first thing opportunity cost and second determinant is interest rate let's move further with another terminology is working capital management so working capital is a difference between current and current liabilities the term working capital management is primary refers to efforts of man management to for effective management of current asset at current liability so these are the objectives smooth operating cycle lowest working capital minimizing the rate of interest or cost of capital or optimum return on current asset investment so these are the objectives advantages events interruption in operation sufficient liquidity profitability better financial health and competitive advantage so these are the advantages of working capital management
on the other hand we have to see the limitations so not so flexible at a time of sudden changes considering the monetary factors only too high dependence on the data and knowledge of all ratios and variables Are required. So this is all about how the working capital management. Let's move for sir. now we are into the investment aspect हेलो सर हेलो सर नाउ दीज आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन सर मेक इट फुल स्क्रीन द इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक रिटेल कमर्शियल बैंक ब्रोकरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट कंपनीज इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज सेंट्रल बैंक इंटरनेट बैंक credit unions saving loans association mortgage companies advisory firms and trust these all are comes under this particular aspects hello sir sir please turn your camera let's move further this is the equity finance yeah okay yeah we just yes sir now start your presentation
This is about the equity market. And this is the debt market where you can raise the fund and securities and debentures. This is all my answer. Thank you, sir. Hello. Hello, Mr. Sir. Das. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, this is all about from my end. Sir, is your presentation is, is your presentation serious? I am done with the presentation, sir. Sir, your presentation is finished. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you so, so much, sir, for your rich content presentation. Thank you very much, sir. And I am extremely sorry because of the internet connectivity and the electricity connection. Uh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but next time definitely I'll take care. No, sir, no problem, sir. No problem. I'm very much thankful uh, to again the IGP entire unit. Uh, you are doing a very great job. You are imparting so knowledge. Much, sir, for your knowledge. Your knowledge. Thank you very much. After your presentation, I hope our knowledge can learn something new, which was our only intention. Learn and grow together, I join all the same. Once again, thank you so, so dear, sir. Thank you. For your presentation, sir. It's time for the question answer session, which is the one more valuable part of our regular webinar. Yeah. Honorable sir, please stay with us after a short video. Yes, in our session, part two is the question answer part. Here, IGP knowledge seekers, ask your question in the comment box as much as you want to know from our speaker. Thank you. After we have webinar certification and online quiz competition. After a short video, we will start our question answer part. Sure, thank you. Sir. Yeah. So please wait. After a yes. short video, we will start our question answer part, sir. Sure.
people come back sir hello welcome thank you dear igm knowledge seekers ask your question in the comment box as much as you know from our speaker thank you after question sir we thank have you. work the certification and online course competition dear igm knowledge seekers ask your question in the box as much as you want to know from our speaker Sir, our first question from Lipim Barha. Why do capital expenditures raise assist PPE, PP and E, whereas other cash outflows such as playing salaries tax and other expenses do not product any assist and instead create a cost on the income statement and diminishes equity via retained earning हेलो सर हेलो सर प्लीज आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन हेलो हेलो सर टर्न योर कैमरा प्लीज हेलो हेलो सर यू आर ऑडियोबल हेलो हेलो सर यस सर यू आर ऑडियोबल सर प्लीज आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन is having their own cost of capital right so when we are talking about the capital expenditure ultimately it raises the asset but we have to see the cash outflow such as paying the salary taxes and other expenses these are the operating expenses and operating expenses has to pay uh, monthly or day by day but when we are talking about the big capital expenditure where they have a long term investment they have to see long term investment how capital can be contributed so every sources if uh, they have a certain cost and cost of capital is apply over there that's why uh, they have to see how much portion we can retain as a retail earning in the organization and how much profit we can receive after paying the taxes not every asset can produce the entire outflow they have to depreciate every year so the, this is all about the capital expenditure we have to think from the perspective of long term and short term investment so this is the answer from us so your sound system is too much low please reach your sound system next question oh. every source of finance has its own cost so that's why we have expenditure when we are talking about it whether we are in long term or short term we see
consider all these instances so it comes year by year but when we are talking about the capital expenditure we should think over the long term investment whether it may be from equity or it may be from retain earning we have to see okay that sir next question hope i have uh, given the answer that how your answer should i give it again answer every source of finance you for your answer okay thank you try to call us sir ask your question in the comment box our speaker is waiting for your question <coughs> Dear IGP knowledge seekers, ask your question in the comment. Sir, there is no more. Here is no more question. I hope you covered full. I hope you covered. Thank you. Thank you. Question. So, sir, here is no question. Okay. Once again, thank you so much, Honorable Sir, for your time in IGP. We have learned a lot from with. new topics it will add some value to our day to day activity along with our academy and professional growth honorable sir hope to see you again topics and a new day thank you sir take care थैंक यू वेरी ऑनरेबल सर बिफोर वी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वेब में सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोसेस इफ दिस स्टूडियो यू कैन सर Honorable sir, before we move to the next webinar certification process, if you leave this studio, you can sir. Hmm. So guys, it's time for the webinar certification process, and the most attract attractive. and powerful part of our webinar regular webinar after a short video we will start our session after webinar certification we have an online quiz competition and quiz certification process thank you
there are some technical problems you cannot share our certificate code we provide our certificate code in a short time thank you today's our some technical problems you cannot share our certificate code we provide our certificate code in a short time thank you dear igb knowledge seekers it's time for the most engaging part of this webinar which is an online quiz competition with webinars activity now time for the online quiz competition to the to join the online quiz competition properly please follow my instruction here only. now time for the online quiz competition to join the online quiz competition properly please instruction carefully first of all you have to go www.slido.com then find today's quiz or scan this qr code Quiz code is global IGB and the quiz code is global IGB. After a short video, we will start our quiz session. Thank you and stay with us. Please join in Slido with code and the code is Global IGP. Please join in Slido with code and the code is Global IGP. Now, time for the online quiz competition. To join the online quiz competition properly, please follow my instruction carefully. First of all, you have to go www.slido.com and find today's quiz or scan this QR code for direct joining. And the code is global IGP. And the code is global IGP. We will pick your name from quiz slide. Also join with your full name, which will be directly printed on quiz certificate. Please join in slide with your full name. Already 22 people will join with us for quiz session please join in slider as early as possible <clears throat> let's start for Let's start. Our first question in this session is which CTE course introduced student to marketing basic and financial management? First option is food and nutrition, and second option is business elements. First option is food and nutrition, and second option is business elements. 
business elements is the right answer and 100% people are right wow moving to the next question our second question is information management can be challenged because first option is no one wants to practice in it second option is many people do not understand what is this first option is no one wants to practice in it second option is many many people do not understand what it is many people do not understand what it is the right answer and 96 percent people are right Our third question is what influence your financial decisions? Our first option is values, needs, wants, and second option is darkness of needs. First option is values, needs, and wants, and second option is darkness of needs. Let's see values needs and wants is the right answer and 100 percent people are right our second of our second question is financial literacy is important is it true or false our fourth question is financial literacy is important first option is true and second option is false is the right answer and 100% people are right moving to the next question and our fifth known question is what is financial literacy our first option is money you way of pay and second option is the ability of understand the effectively use various financial skills ability of understand and effectively use various financial skills the right answer and 100 percent will arrive wow moving to the next question our sixth long question is financial planning help individuals to First option is have strategies for saving and investing. And second option is achieve all goals by set target dates. Have strategies for saving and investing is the right answer and 92% people are right. Moving to the next question, our Seventh long question is what does the office of personnel management consist of? First option is I am not calling him sir. First, second option is I love lamb. First option is I am not calling him sir. Second option is I love lamb. I love lamp is the right answer and 28% people are right. Moving to the next question, our eighth known question is what needs and dash contribute to the financial decisions you make? First option is value and second option is money. Our Eighth long question is what needs and dash contribute to the financial decision you make. First option is value and second option is money. Value is the right answer and 76% people are right. Moving to the next question. Our ninth question is why is diversification of financial investment beneficial first option is if you investment fails your other investments are safe 
second option is if your investments succeed, you must sell all the rest. If you want, if one investment fails, you other, your other investments are safe is the right answer and 88% people are right. Charlie holding the first position. Our next and final question in this section is time management skills make you work. First option is slower and second option is smarter. Our final question in this session is the time management skills make you work dash. First option is slower and second option is smarter. Smarter is the right answer and 100% people are right. Arling is the challenge holding the first position. Congratulations, top 10. Congratulations to our webinar online quiz competition winner stop in congratulations second slide will take a few minutes for finalizing the result and after that we will issue our online quiz competition certificate on our official Facebook page and groups Institute of Global Professionals. Congratulations to our webinars online quiz competition winner stop in congratulations second slide will take a few minutes for finalizing the result and after that we will issue our online quiz competition certificate on our official Facebook page and groups. And the official Facebook page and groups name is Institute of Global Professionals. At the end moment of our session, we can say properly fit your skills. Never stop learning because life never stop teaching us. Be happy and stay safe. You see you again and again. We want your participation is in every program. If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things, Albert Einstein. Before I say or hit the end live button, I again want to thank to all IGP knowledge seekers for our active participation. As always, see you in the next session. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you so much.